Hi everyone, it's Meredith, and today we are gonna make some simple poppy cookies. We're using round sugar cookies, stiff consistency red icing with petal tip number 61. We have a piece of paper towel, a flat edged paintbrush, and a small bowl of water. As we're piping, we are gonna have the curve facing us and the thinner part of the tip is at the outside of the cookie. And I'm going just around the edge, creating four different segments. I also liked that the edge coming off of the cookie is not perfectly straight because the petals have a little bit of individualization to them, so this just adds to the realism of the cookie. I'm also piping right up to the edge and part of the royal icing comes just slightly over. Once the edges are in place, I'm taking my paintbrush, adding a little bit of water to it, and then wiping off excess water so it's just barely damp. Now I'm gently placing the brush on the icing and pulling towards the center. And when I start to have too much icing on my brush, I wipe it off just so I'm not adding extra icing to the petals that I'm trying to flatten. I'm also resaturating my brush once it gets a little bit too dry. I'm leaving some pockets of icing that raise up a little bit in between the petals to show a differentiation in the petal segments. I'm completing the same steps for all four petals. As I looked at the image of the poppy, there isn't a lot of visible veining on the petals. So I dampened my brush and then wherever there's too much of a raise in the icing, then I'm dampening my paintbrush and gently flattening that out. Now I'm going to take my stiff red icing again and I'm making two smaller petals in the center. And I'm repeating the same steps, pulling them inwards. And I'm making sure I'm not pulling directly from the edge of the icing because as I'm pulling inwards, it's kind of lifting up on the edge. So it's making it look more like a petal. And I liked that. If there was too much icing in the center, I removed the excess with my paintbrush. And now I'm gonna let this dry completely. Once these layers were dry, I took some stiff black icing in a tipless bag with a tiny hole cut into it. And I started adding some of the little stamen. I'm leaving some room in the center so that we can pipe the center of the poppy at the end. The stamen look like they come, some are a little bit larger, some are smaller. So after I piped some black stamen, I used my paintbrush, a very fine tipped paintbrush. And now I'm going back in with some black food coloring and adding some smaller spots. This next step I didn't catch on video, but I did use that fine tipped paintbrush again and I made very fine lines that you can see from the little black seeds to the center. You can also put these in later, but I found it nice to do before I added the center of my flower. And now I'm using some lighter colored icing to put the center in. Once this was dried, I did go back to paint it a light green color. I just didn't want to mix too many icing colors. And there we have our beautiful poppy flowers in no time at all. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions you have in the comments and thank you for watching.